Hey there guys, I am Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in cost reduction for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I wanna to talk about something that I really think could help your business and that's podcasting. Now you may think that sounds crazy, right? Or even video casting like this channel, for instance. I believe it's a very good tool and effective in business, and so I wanna tell you why. But first, let me talk a little bit about the history of podcasting. The first earliest known versions of podcasting in, in the way we know it were back in the 1980s, and they were called audio blogging. This was something that was very popular uh, back before the prevalence of the internet, and that people would listen to these audio blogs and share them around and things like that. It wasn't really until Apple started getting into podcasting that it became very popular and very prevalent to the point where by 2013 there were over 1 billion subs subscriptions to podcasts out there. And of course with the prevalence of YouTube and videos, right, being able to upload videos in such an easy fashion, video casting is also a part of that or vodcasting or whatever you want to call it, right, for that matter. Um, the bottom line is podcasts are effective for business and I'm going to give you some reasons why. I'm going to give you three quick reasons why. The first reason is, is if you get into podcasting in your business, let's say your area of focus is dentistry, right, and you start giving expert advice about different dental practices or different dental concepts and you show value in explaining some of these things. You become an industry expert online. You become someone that other people will see as an, as an expert and say, hey look, check out this great video or check out this great podcast that I listened to, this guy who talks about different aspects of dentistry and understand more about dentistry than what is just out in the common space, right? So it's it, it becomes very easy for you to become that expert because what you're doing is you're, you're providing insight, a little piece of insight into something that you know a lot about. And so you become an expert very easily because you have a podcast, because you can point people back towards something that they can see is valuable to them. That's the first thing. The second thing it offers is trust. Honestly, I don't know about too many dentistry offices that have a podcast, but I would tell you if they had one, I would listen to them. I would listen to what they have to say. I would try my best to understand them more, and that would give me some, some idea or some thought that I have a connection with them, that I understand what they're saying, that when I meet them the first time, it's not the first time I've actually really heard them say anything to me because a podcast doesn't sleep. A podcast doesn't grow tired. The information and the message may get stale over time, but that's why you are committed to putting out new information. That's why you commit to bringing more insight, right? The more you do that, the bigger your library becomes, the more people can start to glean from what it is you're saying and begin to trust you. So that is the second thing. The last thing, something I really think is important for you to understand about podcasting in general, and something I really think a lot of folks uh, try to do in this space right now, especially given the pandemic and everything that has offered us as far as being at home by ourselves or, or out and about, is it's easy to integrate podcasting into your life. And a lot of business folks and a lot of people in general are getting into listening to audio podcasting, watching videos on websites. Heck, streaming services is a big thing nowadays. And integrating the YouTube app into your television or on your phone or what have you really makes it easy for, for the user to integrate this into their life. They could be watching cat videos, for instance, one minute and then listening to you talk about your expertise in dentistry the next, right? So it's something that becomes easily approachable to people and they they can consume it in their time. They don't have to search you out. Um, you don't have to search them out as much. You won't bug them by uh, interrupting their day. They will, people will naturally want to integrate certain aspects of podcasts or even video casting, uh, different videos into their day 
naturally it just happens right it's also another thing that if you start sharing these things and you're pretty uh, uh, adamant about sharing these things in different social media platforms those things will get shared by the people that find interest in them and that those people will then the, the people that they shared it with will then do the same and so it can become this obviously viral effect that everybody talks about when a video goes viral it's something that puts people on a map right i'm not saying that i expect to go viral or want or would hope to go viral in some sense because a lot of folks that's that's their goal my goal isn't to do that my goal is to really provide information to people that, that want to understand business better, who are out to grow their business, and I also use it as a tool to help establish some of the things that I mentioned before. Being an industry expert, showing people that they can trust me to look into their bills and save them money on their essential expenses. And so that's what I have today. Something that you should really consider with your business. Something I think a lot of business owners, especially in the smaller space, feel like, oh, it's such an arduous task. It's something I can't do. Why would I ever want to do this? What value do I see? Well, I've given you two or three good reasons right now to, to decide, hey, maybe I should just try something out. And there are certain things you can do. I'm gonna put a couple of links to some interesting articles in uh, the chat right now, or in the, sorry, in the description of this video. Please uh, give me some feedback on what you think about this, this idea, what, you, what your thoughts are about, could you start a podcast and could you bring relevant information to this space and share it with your friends and, and your, your different customers and clients and help them see the, the value in being able to integrate some of these things into their life. And with that, I'm Ken Ross. I'd love it if you could post in the comment section below what you think of what I brought here with this. It's just a topic that I thought I found interesting, especially given that I am doing a video cast or podcast in some sense and want people to uh, really understand and be, be very much aware of why someone may do something like this. I really do feel like this establishes me and establishes others in this space with some, some level of credibility because business consultants are used all the time by bigger businesses. They are leveraged in a lot of different things and their expertise is key to a lot of business drivers in bigger businesses and I wanna be available to people that are not Fortune 500 companies. I don't want people to think that they can't have a consultant come in, look at, look at a problem or a set of problems and give some advice and that that be something that's so detrimental to their business because good businesses that wanna grow always are looking for ways to change things or innovate in some ways to get ahead of their competition. So uh, with that, I, I can ramble on all day. I keep saying that, but I will leave it at that. Please visit my website, I am Kenross.com, and until next time, I'll see you around.